During the Corps Total Soldier, the Corps agents have been all over the place. A ninja here, a ninja there. We're gonna check out the man who started as a ninja, but after this, his body would become a staple as a core default aquatic suit. Let's check out Decoder version 3. The core Total Soldier C-Squad is a mix of new and old characters for the time. The team includes core veteran Gills, the ex-ninja Decoder, and the mysterious craptastic 4 member Decoder first became a core agent during the new recruit series. His original name was Slash, but was quickly changed to Decoder. The name Slash was later given to a core super soldier curse figure, uh, Slash. Decoder got two versions during the new recruit's time as part of the short-lived Shinobi squad. He was released at the time when the new sculpts had wearable weapons. There were three body types. The Road Rash Spade body type, the Mirage Rain body type, and the Decoder body type. He didn't come with a wearable weapons feature, but he technically did hold his proprietary weapons, a pair of arm blades. And these things are pretty loose. Sure, they'll stay on there if you don't touch them, but if you decide to play with this figure, those arm blades are going to come right off. He is in a turquoise blue matching gills. The arm blades are pretty cool as an underwater weapon and probably help in swimming. What's funny about this figure is that even though he is now part of the underwater team, he still carries around a pair of nunchucks. I know that it's just in the skull, but man, just imagine those underwater chuck moves. Very effective weapons. There is one other character that shares the same body as Decoder. The core elite, Diesel. Decoder is a cool figure, and his sculpt has always had a wetsuit look to it. So in a way, it makes sense to change him into an underwater type character. The core total soldier would be his final appearance as of this video. 